Hello, I'm Mr. Villa. I teach social studies. Hi, I'm Mrs. Riverly, and I teach science. Hi, I'm Ms. Graham. I teach ELA. Hi, I'm Mrs. Natevsky. I'm the learning support teacher for this pod. And I'm Mrs. Fawcett, and I teach math. Nice to see you guys. All right, we are going to go ahead and share a presentation that we have created for you to share about pods um, 06A. All right, so welcome to pod 06A. Again, we have Mr. Villa for social studies, Ms. Rinderley for science, Ms. Graham for ELA, and Mrs. Fawcett for math, and our learning support teacher is Ms. Natupski. Communication, we are using the Remind app. Please send a text message to at POD 06A to 81010. When you sign up, please go ahead and download the Remind app and change your first name to your child's name and your last name to your, um, your name so we can determine whose child belongs to what adult. Our email addresses are also listed here on the screen for you. Please email us with any information you might need or any questions you might have, including if you're having problems connecting to the internet. Okay, Mr. Villa is up and he's gonna to talk to you about social studies. Okay, I'm Mr. Villa, I'm we teaching social studies this year. Um, to log on the class, make sure we're doing that daily, every day and on time and actually early. Um, look at the Schoology, uh, Schoology page daily and check on schoolwork and homework. Uh, daily work and the class calendar are listed on the right hand side of the class homepage. To make sure we check this every day. All assignments to make up are located in the classroom, homework, and quiz folders on the class homepage. Um, in the purple news and notes folder are the expectations for online learning, behavior, classwork, homework, quizzes, and our daily routine. Uh, make sure we're checking our gradebook daily and weekly for any and all work that needs to be uh, handed in, even if it's past due. Please get it in. Um, everything will be graded in a timely manner and every point does count. If you have any questions, make sure you please do email me. Um, I will get back to you. Uh, most importantly, above all, this year more than any other year, please stay positive and give your best effort. Give 100%. Um, understand that we don't control the internet. It tends to control us a lot. Um, please don't get frustrated. Try to, if you get logged off or you get kicked off, try to get back on, especially check later on the days. Um, other than that, like I said, I am pleased and uh, happy to uh, work with your child this year and looking forward to it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you. Great. I am Mrs. Rinderly again, and I teach science. Um, all materials for class will be on Schoology. Uh, the only time that they would need any other materials is maybe some scrap paper and a pencil. If we need to just write something down um, that we need to remember for the next day. Uh, our daily routine is students come in. I normally wait until I have most of the students in and we listen to a science song while the kids are working on their bell ringer questions. They do need to be in their Zoom class on time. Uh, we have been going very slowly so that everyone can get used to the program. We're still, I still am giving them information um, about science and we're still working on curriculum, but just trying to make sure everybody knows what they're doing before we really start to dive into a lot of curriculum. Uh, their work is organized in weekly folders for right now. Um, it may be changing. I'm still learning some of the best ways to organize things in Schoology, so um, that may be changing, but for right now, they're in weekly folders. Uh, and the students should be pretty well adjusted to knowing where their work is. They should be checking to make sure that work is being submitted. There are many students that owe several assignments at this point. 
So going back and looking at their grades and making sure that they're turning everything in is very important. Technology issues, like Mr. Villa said, they happen daily. Um, and sometimes they are completely out of our control. So patience, 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 patience. Um, I, we've, we're extending times for people um, to you know, log out and log back in. So hopefully we can get all of that worked out. Um, and I'm hoping to get into some virtual field trips. So make sure that all of your students are in class. My extra help is Wednesdays after school from 2.45 until 3.10. And they just need to go to the extra help button on their class's main page. So I realize that everybody knows this, that this may be different than what we're used to, which is why when we adapt and change is needed, we learn how to build our futures. So don't give up, stay positive. We're gonna keep learning together and we're gonna make it a great year. Hi, I'm Ms. Graham. I teach English and language arts. Um, starting with the words to know, homework is assigned every Monday and due on Thursday. Tests are every Friday and students are allowed to use their notes. In regards to literacy boards, they're completed at the beginning of every class with the teacher and turned in at the end of each week for an easy 30 points. AR is a huge part of our reading curriculum um, for the sixth grade. It makes up 250 points of ELA class. So if students don't complete the accelerated reader program each quarter, they won't pass this class. Quarter one AR point goal summary and book log must be completed by Tuesday, November 3rd. There are books online to read for AR and they can be located in the red AR folder on Schoology or you can sign up for a free library card at the Erie Public Library. Materials and supply list. All materials needed for this class are posted in Schoology in various folders. The ELA comprehension packet was given out at distribution day in the navy blue backpack, which we have been using all this week so far. Uh, reminder, students are responsible for missing classwork, assignments, and tests. Please check the gradebook daily and weekly for any and all work that needs to be handed in, even if it's past due. Special help for ELA is on Mondays from 2.45 to 3.10. And lastly, if you have any questions, please send a message on the Remind app or email me. All right, next up is math. Again, I'm Mrs. Fawcett. Um, we're really excited because we have a new math program in the middle school this year called Ready Math, which is the same as what the students had last year in fifth grade. The students will have two books. They should have come home to you in a blue backpack. There is an instruction book and there's a practice and problem solving book. Extra help for math is on Tuesdays from 2.45 to 3.10 or by email or a remind message for an appointment. Important information can be found on my Schoology page by clicking the class information button or the class information red folder. There you will find my syllabus, you will find the school handbook, you will find um, any of the handouts we sent to you at the beginning of the school year that we had the printout of the emails. Supplies, the only thing extra that you could purchase for your student is just a plain notebook or composition book for their scratch math work and some pencils. If um, notebooks are not in the budget, the school does have the lobby open for you to come and grab some more supplies if you are out or you did not receive all the supplies you need. If your student is absent, it is their responsibility to email me with the reason they missed class and they also need to make up the work. So if you're having internet issues, if you could please encourage them to email any of us if they miss our class, and just let us know why they weren't in class. Again, internet issues can be fixed um, 
by calling the school district office and seeing if there's a different way that we can get you some better internet service. Grading. The class grading is made up of 60% tests and quizzes. Quizzes will be given at the end of each lesson. The lessons last two to five or three to five days. A remind text will be sent the night before a message. It's really important that you sign up for remind so we can keep you informed on all the things here at Wilson. Tests will occur once all of the lessons are completed. Quizzes and tests will be given in Schoology. Students will get two attempts at each test or quiz. One attempt will be taken in class and one attempt can be taken at home to fix the answers that they got incorrect. Just like if they were at school, I would give them the ability to make corrections on their test. That needs to happen two days after, within two days. So after the test is given or the quiz, they have two days to fix that test or quiz. After that, the window will be closed and whatever grade they received, the first attempt will be the grade they get. Classwork is worth 30% of their grade. I have a daily five. The students get five points each day for being in virtual class and participating. So if they are just there and their screen is black and they are not participating, they will not get full credit for class. I ask them to put answers in the chat or participate in certain ways. If they do not respond to that, they will lose a point. So they need to not just be sitting in front of their screen, they need to be actively participating. Last, homework is 10%. One homework assignment will be given each week and it's posted in Schoology. Students will get three attempts on each on the questions. Topics will be from previous skills we've already learned. Once they take those three attempts, the highest grade will be the grade they receive. They also have an iReady program, which is an online math diagnostic test that figured out exactly what level they're on. And they will give them instruction based on their needs. Sometimes they will have class time to work on their path but sometimes they have to do it after school. I ask 60 minutes for one week of iReady. They can use the My Progress button to check their time each week. You can also ask them to show you their progress. And with that, they can show you how long they've been on. So if it's Thursday and they've only been on for 10 minutes, they might need to do a lot more work on Thursday. 10 to 15 minutes each day should make an hour of time. Something different in middle school, the grading system. It's 90 to 100 for an A. B is 80 to 89. A C is 70 to a 79. A D is 65 to 69. And if you get 65, 64 or below, it's an F. The elementary grading scale ended in fifth grade and middle and high school grading scale is the same. So we wanted to bring that to your attention. All right, hello everyone again. Um, I am Mrs. Natupski. I am the learning support teacher for POD 06A. I um, just wanted to let those of you know um, who, um, whose students have the services that I have, or that I <laughs> provide, that I um, provide them in science, social studies, language arts, and math classes. So I zoom in in those classes and provide services then. Um, any adaptations or modifications that need to be made are made as needed. Um, just so you know, communication is extremely important for your student's success. Um, I'll be in touch concerning any special education needs throughout the school year. And if you need anything, please do not hesitate to contact me. I did list my um, email and the school phone number again for you. Um, I offer special help for the students Monday through Thursday from 2.45 to 3.10. Um, my link is in their um, class. It's either in the tutorial class that they have on Schoology or on the special help class on Schoology. Okay, and they just use that link to come. All right, Mrs. Foss, it's coming back to you to finish up our presentation. So my question is, do you have access to the parent portal? which means can you see your grades for your children? Can you see if they're in attendance in school? If you do not have access to the parent portal or you're not sure what I'm talking about, 
you need to contact our counselor, Mr. Coletta, and he will get you the login information that you will need. It will also link to every single student you have in the district. So you, if you have students in different classes or different schools, all of their information will be in your parent portal. So you can check attendance records and see if your child is actually showing up for class. This can all be accessed through www.eresd.org and click on the parent button at the top. And Mr. Coletta's email is down there at the bottom in green. Most importantly, we've also mentioned this. This is new to all of us. So some, some things are gonna work very well while others aren't going to work very well. So please be patient as we navigate this virtual learning together. Please don't hesitate to email or remind message any of us with any school related questions that you have. Remind is an awesome, awesome app that actually sends a message right to our phones. And so I check that more than I check my email most of the times when I'm at home outside of school hours. Remember, providing your child with the best opportunity to reach their excellence is child plus parent plus teacher equals success. So we need parent help, especially when the children are not in front of us every day. We need you to check in on them and make sure they're doing what they're doing, they're supposed to be doing. You also need to um, check in with us to make sure if there's anything that we need to help you with that your child might not be doing. Also get on that parent portal so you can see if they're showing up for classes when you might be at work or not at home or they're at a different place learning. So please do your part, we'll do our part, and the kid does their part, and that will equal success. Let's make it a great year. Again, contact us with any information you might need. And thank you. Again, you can watch this over and over again if we talked too quickly, or if there's things you need, you can always hit the pause button and record or take some notes. Have a good night or a good weekend, and we will hopefully hear from you soon.